Welcome to Conscious Living, the place to be to explore new possibilities. I'm Lauren Polly, and I'm so happy you've chosen to tune in today to talk about how to spring clean your life. Most of us do spring cleaning in one form or the other, and yes, I get most of us do it with a household. We scrub the floors, we start to kind of change over our wardrobe. It's more about the physical aspect of living, cleaning up your life and organizing things. What I want to talk about today is actually adding that same energy into your life and your living. I don't know about you, but wintertime's always been interesting to me. Yes, there are beautiful things about it, but I don't enjoy being cooped up. Or contained in any way. And wintertime, especially growing up in the Northeast like I did, always had that energy. It was having the windows shut and the shades drawn. There wasn't a lot of light. Um, also, people around me didn't seem to do a lot. I don't know if you've noticed this, but even if you're active and have tons of ideas, you're very, very creative. Being around people who don't have a lot of get up and go, and especially in the wintertime when there's not a lot of get up and go, there's a lot of hibernation stuff that goes on, you kind of follow suit. That energy starts to invade your space, and before you know it, you kind of lost your spark a little bit. And what I want to talk about today is really having that enlivening of spring coming back full force for you. My favorite day of spring growing up was the first warm day. My household, my family would always open up all of the windows. We'd open up the doors. My parents were gardeners, so they were always out in the garden. This was the first opportunity to do that. So we would open up the windows and the light would come in, the air would come in, and immediately there was just this sense of relief and relaxation in my body and in my mind. And yes, it is that enlivening and like letting the freshness in and airing out. There's also an expansion that occurs too. And being able to have that air moving through, that freshness, kind of cleansing that stagnation and watching everybody around me become more active almost gave me permission to become more active as well, which is where I like to be. One trick that we're going to talk about throughout this whole kind of series you'll notice in a lot of my videos is how not to let the energy of the people around you impact you and take away your pop. Um, we'll get into that a little bit later, but for this video in particular, take advantage of the energy of the season. The daylight savings time, people are up, they're moving, they're more active, everybody's out and about, they're moving their bodies more. Being able to jump into that and utilize that to your advantage is huge. One tool that I love to give you moving forward for this week is just to start looking at where you can air yourself out a bit more. Where's the one area of your life that's felt like that winter household where the windows are touch shite? <laughs> the shades are drawn. There's not a lot of light. There's not a lot of movement. Or perhaps the people around you that are involved in the same project, a business, a relationship, at work, at home, wherever that is, they've had that winter hibernation energy and they haven't been moving and grooving and expanding and opening up as much as you know it's possible. Allow their energy not to impact yours and also start to air it out for yourself. Where can you bring the freshness of springtime into your living? Open the windows, open the doors, let the air flow through, let the light come in, let the warmth start to seep in a bit, and start to notice what shifts and change. Yes, there's a cleansing of a cleaning energy. The stagnation will start to go. Hopefully the boredom will go too. You may start to get sparked alive again to take action on ideas. And also one thing I'd love for you to start to play with as well, allowing yourself to have that cleanse, that openness, and the expansion part. Being able to come out of that constricted, contracted, cooped up ah, energy is huge. It'll actually allow you to have more pep in your step to get out there and start to make changes any way that you see fit. This is, again, a concept that you're probably familiar with just with households. I invite you to take that one concept and apply it in a different way, uh, whatever way that actually seems to work for you, whether that's relationships, business, money, whatever it is, where can you add a fresh perspective this week? Where can you let the light in, the air in, and where can you start to let go of control enough to expand and open up? Just like letting the wild outdoors kind of blow through your house and how good that feels to actually 
take down that separation or that cooped up energy, being able to do that in your own living as well. Open your mouth, start to speak, start to explore, and bring a fresh perspective in any way that seems fun. That is the energy of springtime and the energy I invite you to play with this week. All right, I'll talk to you soon.